Hi, this is Robert here, May 4th, 2008. I'm just going to do a post using WordPress blog software today. Uh, this is the way I do it, but you can actually do it any way you want, any uh, program you're comfortable with, HTML editor or just a notepad file, but I will keep all my uh, content that's going to appear in the blog post in Dreamweaver, and that's the program we're using here. I like to use Dreamweaver because you have two views. You have one that's the HTML view, which I'm highlighting, and then above I have the code view. So I've done this article. One thing I like to do at this point, and this is optional, is determine the best keywords for this article. And in order to do that, I'll just make a copy of all the text here, and I'll use another program called Content Composer. Content Composer, I'll just simply paste the same text text into Content uh, Composer, and if you look down um, here, let me get us a better fit. Well, actually, we're there now. Advanced Analysis, these are all uh, clickable, Content Statistics, but I like to use Advanced Analysis, and here you can see the keywords and the frequency, the count and the density of those keywords and you can see the most prominent ones. I'll export the document by clicking that button. I've already done this, so I won't do it again, but I would click overwrite the file, which I can't do right now because I already have it open, but you get the idea here is we read the uh, keyword, the count, the density in every article we post, and we're going to get a good chance to pick the best keywords. When you place keyword tags, they absolutely should be keywords that are in the article themselves, and usually the higher occurrence is better. It, it tends to spell out the theme, um, the high theme density of each keyword. So I've exported that file. Now this is Excel. Let's get a better fit so you can recognize Excel. And simply we can see when we open this document the same thing. It's now exported and I, I've basically cherry picked these keywords here. Read the article first. In most cases you're going to write the article first so you know what's really important. And according to the high co-occurrence as we can see here, marketing was mentioned seven times in the article, TechWise six. So, And I also thought that redesigned myself, I cut it from down in 24th. It's only mentioned once in the article, but it's important because it's about the redesigned blog. So I've picked these as my prime keywords. From here I'll just copy now, this is a step that you don't necessarily have to take. If you don't take that step I just took, in other words, measuring the article itself, just type your keywords comma separated in a notepad file. What I've done here to carry on is, again, made a copy of these keywords. I paste them into notepad, and I just have now a row of keywords. I'll make another copy of them and I'll go over to Dreamweaver again and I'm going to open a new document, just a plain document, and in the HTML view window pane I'm going to paste that. If we go back up top here we can see the break tags. I like to just make a copy of those break tags and the next line down. You can hardly see it but watch this. See now we're going to find and replace the break tag with a space under it with a comma. And there we go, we have our keywords. So from here I go back up to the code view, make a copy, bring the notepad file back that we copied from originally, and just paste them in and there's our keywords all done, ready to go. Comma separated one space, beautiful. Now I'm going to go over to our blog, I'm going to log in, I'm going to go over to options, choose the auto social poster, make sure these two boxes are checked for sure. Now I'm going to click here twice. Actually I think we could do a control A. But whatever happens, very important here that we know for certain we've selected all those keywords within the box from the previous post. Delete. That's important that we delete them. See and now we have this. Remember we just made it. I'm going to make a copy of that. We'll move it out of the way. Click into this uh, box, text box, paste everything in. Um, this is the number of tags you want to appear. Every post when you come in, I recommend we change this number so it doesn't look like a pattern. So I'm going to, in this case, only paste, um, thir actually, there's this will be limited because we only have a small amount. So, But whatever the point is, when you log in, change it. And it'll just show less, less pattern. 
So I'll scroll down. Now this is maybe a bummer here because, whoops, back to our blog. I don't think you're going to be able to see it, no. But there's an update button. It's important once you've done that, everything's correct. I'm just going to click update. You see, options are now saved. So now let's go over and write this post. I'll wait for it all to show up here. Okay, fully loaded. I like to now go to the source. So we are now in the source mode. Back to Dreamweaver, back to our document, up into the source view. Control A will select all. And let's go back to the blog, into the window, into the source pane. We'll paste all that. And if we click source again, we should be able to preview what it's going to look like. So now we have uh, the article. Let's go back one more time. The title of this article, I'm just going to try to find out here. Because this is one that Daryl actually did already, so that's our title. I'm going to make a copy of the title and paste it in. So that's basically now our finished article, but this is another important step. Make sure we choose the right category in every post. And the last important step, I hope you can see it where it says post slug. This is really important that we post the slug because when we post the slug with a dash separation, it becomes the file name. So we get to control that. So in this case, again, if we're following the um, concept of theme density, the titles tend to be uh, hold strength in what they're saying. So TechWise announces release of new blog and message forum. All right, so let's see. And these should all be lowercase. So I'm going to paste to in. I'm going to decide right now that the first word is going to be announce. You can't really see this. But you can, I think you can see the tip of it. Announce new dash blog dash forum. That, I think, describes this article in, in as least words as I can say. And again, this is important because it becomes the HTML file name that Google will spider. So we're controlling that. Oh, there we go. So see, announces dash new dash blog dash forum. Dashes tend to be my favorite with blogging. So I think we're ready to roll here. Let's publish the document. All right, and the document is now published. What we'll do is view the site, and there's our document. There's our tags, just as we input them, except they are randomized. So what that means, you, we check the box off to randomize them. The way you put them in was randomized. If you don't like that option, you want them in the exact order you place them, then you just check that box off. So that's the finished job. It was easy as pie and that's how you use keyword tags in blog posts with the AutoPoster blog plugin. This is Robert signing off.